Hi, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our channel today. We're going to be doing something wonderful. Of course, we usually do this outside, either up in the mountains camping or in our backyard that we have fixed up so wonderful. But in Wyoming this summer, it is very, very dry. It's like a tinder box, and I'm not fooling you. So there's fire bands on everything. So we're doing our Dutch oven meals, most of them this summer, in our home. But this is absolutely perfect for all of you people that love to cook inside anyway and you don't like to be outside. And what we're doing today is chicken chili. And I went ahead and prepared things ahead of time just like I would if I was going to go up in the mountains camping. And what I've done is instead of soaking my beans overnight, I have great northern beans. And I've got three cans of them that I rinsed and drained. One medium onion that is finely diced. Green can of green diced chilies. And my spices, I always love to do, measure them out. And we've got chili powder, cumin, oregano, and cayenne pepper. And for my liquid, I like to make my own chicken broth, my own chicken stock. But you can buy whatever you'd like. But you want to have four cups of it for this meal. And we're going to go ahead and do this in this old, old cast iron Dutch oven that was my mom's from the ranch that I use this all the time. It is wonderful. And what I did ahead this morning is I smoked two chicken breasts on our Traeger barbecue with apple. Now doesn't that sound wonderful? And you don't have to do this either if you don't want to. You can roast your chicken breasts, but you want to have them cooked ahead of time and dice them. And then we're just going to put all of this into this Dutch oven, put the lid on and cook it for about an hour of slow and let all these wonderful seasonings go together. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in our oven today at about 300 and bake it for about an hour, an hour and a half. And what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to go ahead and slice my chicken. Now, aren't these absolutely beautiful? These are boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And I'm going to kind of cube them up here. We sure hope you're enjoying this with us today. We would love it if you would subscribe, hit that like button. Of course, we love comments. Give us some feedback. Let us know how we're doing. We would absolutely love that. Where does this chicken smell wonderful? Oh, my goodness. Of course, we love our Traeger. I don't know if you folks have ever used one or if you have a smoker. Of course, one of my favorite ones is the apple or alder is wonderful because we do cook a lot with poultry and pork and that one just really goes great. We're sure hoping that our summer turns into getting a little bit better for us. We get some rain. What about these forest fires? We've got a lot of fires going on around us. So you know this is just to be safe. And like I told you, these are great northern beans. I did three cans of those and I rinsed them and drained them. For you people that love crock pots and cook with crock pots, this is a wonderful fun dish that you can put in your crock pot. Come home and your meal's all done for you. And with this, this is a very hearty stew. You don't really need anything else to go with it. Garnish it with a little bit of grated cheese. A little fresh cilantro if you'd like. But you know, I was going to do that today, but I went out to my herb garden and I had quite a surprise. My herbs were all eaten off by these doggone deer that like to come through and visit us. But it's not my flowers they're eating. They help themselves to my herbs. And I guess they like cilantro. So we won't be garnishing this tonight with cilantro. We live about 45 miles from town and, you know, you just don't run to town all the time. Yeah, we all have things we have to deal with in life, don't we? But I guess it could be worse. I could have worse critters in my yard besides those deer. But I'm saying those doggone deer, those are just, they're starting to become quite, quite the nuisance. A 
Okay, that is my green chilies. And if I miss anything that I'm telling you about, if you go to the description below, all of the ingredients and the recipe is in that. This is going to be a full pot. I can see my husband over there smiling, saying, okay, we'll see if she gets all of this in here. But it will. Okay, I'm going to stir that all together, put the lid on, and get it in our oven and get it cooking. Oh my, I can't wait to eat this. It smells incredible. You've got to be here to enjoy this with us. And all we're going to do tonight is put a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese on top. And if you want to put a little sour cream, that's really yummy too. And a little bit of fresh cilantro, like I told you my story. I love fresh cilantro, but my little critters came in this morning and finished it off. So guess what? I'm going to have to buy some. And of course, you know, we love it that you joined us today. We hope everybody's having a wonderful summer. Of course, we're all kind of dealing with the heat. But, you know, that's summertime, you know. That's summertime. And, of course, our motto is great food shared with family and friends equals great times. Of course, my husband and I are going to have a fine glass of chilled white wine to go along with this. Until we meet again, thank you.